The Ministry of Agriculture has collaborated with the Japan International Cooperation Agency, JICA, to host the One Village, One Product Fair. The fair featured a variety of byproducts from the OVOP pilot projects selected communities of Miku, Schwerzel, and Soufre, which seek to target and utilize local products. The One Village, One Product project focuses on improving the marketing of these products as well as the enhancement of product branding. The selection process outlined in response to feedback from the OVA pilot project will provide a transparent tool for final product selection for communities across the island. Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Agriculture, Barrymore Felicien notes that the success of the fair will be pivotal in the project rollout and will provide meaningful change to the people of St. Lucia. The Ministry of Agriculture endorses and embraces the One Village, One Product model as a practical strategy to promote rural and economic development. The concept allows for focused attention on one commodity where added value allows for communal benefits. The successes of the model and adaptability makes it attractive to small island developing states like St. Lucia. Many of our villages require an economic boost and thrust in the area of sustainability and livelihoods. COVID-19 has forced a decline in the employment rate and the financial circumstances of many. But unfortunately, the vulnerable are worst impacted. As such, this intervention is not only critical, but timely. Mr. Felicia expressed gratitude to the Government of Japan on behalf of the Ministry of Agriculture for their continuous support on initiatives such as the OVO project. Chief Representative of the Japan International Cooperation Agency, JICA, Hiroyasu Tonokawa, says that the project aims to increase employment opportunities, particularly for the youth in St. Lucia. It is important to make youngsters equipped with necessary skills, but at the same time, it is also important to promote local industries, including agriculture and fisheries sectors, and to create opportunities for youngsters to be employed. I believe uh, the introduction of idea of OBOP will contribute to the uh, vitalization of communities and local industries. And in the long run, it will expand the opportunities of employment for Central Asia youngsters. The pilot project commenced in January 2021 and will be culminated in January 2022. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anisia Antoine reporting.